Larry Williams' book, Long-Term Secrets to Short-Term Trading, has many gems inside it. And recently, I got a question from a viewer of the channel asking, why don't you test one of his strategies in the book? Now, this is not a strategy. It's a kind of a truth, as Larry Williams puts it, where he says, if the market close in the upper third of its range, then most likely it will continue the next day. And in fact, if you test the strategy holding for five days to 25 days, you will find that you will make money on most of the markets. But of course, as algo traders, we need to test anything we read in a book, in an article, online, or anything you see on YouTube. So here is the strategy plotted on the S&P 500 index. This is we buy when the close is in the top third of the range and we sell when it's in the bottom third. Now, if I run the strategy, you can see it's a losing strategy on the S&P 500. And if we look at the periodical analysis, we can see it's making money sometimes, but most of the, actually, it's all bear markets losing money. And in fact, if I just add a 200 day moving average filter, so let's compile this. We can see we already enhanced the strategy. So the strategy becomes a little bit profitable. But of course, if you look at Larry's testing, you can see it's actually profitable within five days. So it's holding days, it's not, he's not exiting when it's in the bottom third. So if I optimize over the holding bar, so this is from zero to 25, step one, we get 26 combinations. And this is Larry Williams, so this is five days, 55,000, 10 days, 108, 15, 120, 20 days, 82, 25 days, 96. So it still holds and whatever he, came to the conclusion of back in 1999, which is when he published this book, it still holds till today. Now in my algo trading masterclass, I do teach some very important concepts. And one of them is to match the strategy to the instrument. So for example, we all know, or at least should know that the US indexes are mere reverting instruments, meaning they respond very well to mere reversion strategies. And they are kind of so-so with breakout or trend following strategies. So if I flip the rules of this strategy, which is I buy when the close is in the bottom third of the range, what should we expect? And of course, if you're a regular viewer of the channel, you know what to expect. You should expect more profits, better strategy, because now we are trading this as a mere reverting strategy and here are the results of the same strategy flipped that means we will go long when the price close in the bottom third of the range and you can see now it's totally different of course it's much better strategy because it suits this instrument and this is our periodical returns and this is the performance without the 200 day moving average filter you make, of course, more money with higher drawdown. Now, just like we made the strategy suiting this instrument, which is to flip it to a mere version strategy, we can keep it as a breakout trend following strategy, but now we need to match it with a better instrument. And of course, the best one for that usually is the energy market. So let's try the heating oil on this strategy. So this is heating oil, no market filter and we can see the strategy is making very good money. So here we will optimize again from one to 25, and we can see that all of them are profitable. That's because now we match the right strategy with the right instrument. And we can go a step further by optimizing the close percentage. So let me fix this at three days. So look at this now. Instead, we will go from 50% to 95%. So if we close above 50% all the way to 95% step of five, that's 10 combinations, we will go long exit after three days. Again, of course, all of them are profitable. So this is 65, which is 204. And at three days, we make more money with 75 and with 80. So it's nice to see that it doesn't matter what we do, we are profitable and we are not barely profitable. Look at the average trades. The, the smallest one is $131. So the most important thing to take away from this video is to match the right strategy to the right instrument. As you saw in the testing, 
It's extremely simple to make the strategy profitable when you match it with the right instrument. I don't subscribe to the theory or the traders, of course, with all due respect, that the strategy, if it works on oil, it has to work on all energy sectors. And if it works on the uh, S&P 500, it has to work on all indexes. Yes, in theory, it could. But the shorter holding period you have in your strategy, the less likely this strategy will work on the adjacent instruments. For example, index with indexes, energy with energy, and so on and so forth. If you build a long-term strategy, then it makes sense that this strategy should work on similar instruments. So if you build, let's say, a trend following strategy holding, I don't know, 40 days, then it makes sense if it works on crude oil, it should work on heating oil. Once you extend the holding period, then the gyration, the daily variability of the instrument will stop affect that strategy. And that's why it should behave similar on other instruments. To learn more, make sure to watch these videos and I will see you there.